this Halloween, we are taking a closer look at some buildings in Raleigh with a haunted history. One became known as one of Raleigh's most haunted places. It's now home to a popular restaurant, Ashley Christensen's Death and Taxes. In downtown Raleigh, 105 West Hargett Street. This building was initially the coffin house. Built in 1907. At the height of the Spanish flu, bodies were piled in the basement pretty high. This building used to be a, a morgue and a bank. Yep, it's been both of those things. Now it's home to one of Chef Ashley Christensen's popular restaurants. That's the name Death in Texas. Correct. Very fitting. Nelson Noss is the executive director and co-founder of the nonprofit Ghost Guild. We collect data of people's experiences and then we go and we uh, hypothesize different explanations. Now, Noss is investigating death and taxes, which for years has been featured as one of Raleigh's most haunted places. We did the whole building. We had three members that night. Can you make that noise again? Kelly is basically asking for interaction. Then Allison came up. She basically experienced the exact same thing. I had a slightly different experience when I started getting the exact same periodic hit. Pretty much sounded just like this, which I don't know how to explain that. Their findings are now part of the Ghost Guild's investigation, looking for patterns to better understand and explain paranormal activity, which Noss says shouldn't be feared. There's different ideas on, on hauntings. Some people think that the buildings could be haunted. Some people think the land could be haunted. Some people think objects could be haunted. And in the case of the Death and Taxes building. This is absolutely a gorgeous building. We'd recommend anybody uh, come here. here where Raleigh's history played out and continues with reports of paranormal activity, especially in the basement. Luckily, the restaurant's on the first floor. <laughs> the Ghost Guild, by the way, has investigated other Raleigh locations along with death and taxes, including Mordecai Historic Park, Theater in the Park, the North Carolina Museum of History, and the Seaboard Station, just to name a few. And across the state, they've mm -hmm. done the battleship USS NC in Wilmington 18 times they've investigated. A lot of activity there.